The outcomes I see when I help people optimize their circadian rhythms, the person they notice is that their sleep quality improves, which then helps you know their all day energy, their mental focus. Um, they're able to do the activities that they want to do. The more they control their lighting environment at night, the better their sleep is gonna be and the better they're gonna feel, the deeper their sleep is gonna be and the more rested they're going to be when they wake up. The name of the game after dark is limiting their exposure, particularly to blue and green light, because those are the two frequencies of light that really prevent melatonin from doing what it's supposed to do, which is to come out into the bloodstream after three to four hours, absent blue and green light, and turn on all the renovation, rejuvenation, and repair processes of the body. You know, if you want higher quality, deep sleep, stop eating three to four hours before you go to bed so that that machinery can shut off. You know, your liver and gut get programmed you know, partly by the light that enters your eyes and then that talks to your liver and gut, but they really get uh, turned on by when the nutrient sensing happens when there's foodstuffs in them. And you need three to four hours uh, where no more nutrients are coming in before those clocks in the liver and gut shut off. So it's like delivery. So they're just waiting for more deliveries. And if they keep thinking they're, you know, they're gonna get a snack at 10 p.m. and you're going to bed, it's gonna take the you know, 1, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. before they're like, okay, no more food's actually gonna come in. They flip the switch and then they start doing all the repair stuff that their body's supposed to be doing while you're sleeping. So, you know, this comes out of the work of uh, Dr. Sachin Panda, and he's got an excellent book called The Shikadian Code, which I recommend to pretty much every single patient. When it comes to fixing their light environment after dark, it comes down to using lights that are low in blue and green light. These are now fortunately widely available and blocking blue light that's coming out of screens, tablets, computers, uh, smartphones. You can use software to change the light that's coming out of these screens for better or for worse. This is almost never enough to really eliminate the blue and green light. And that's where glasses that can block blue or green light that are called blue blockers become invaluable because you can put those on. And, you know, the response of my patients to how these glasses affect their sleep, their energy levels, and how they feel after dark and also their appetite. I mean, every aspect of their physiology really at the end of the day, pun intended, is profound. And they consistently report that they sleep better, they sleep more deeply, they feel more rested. And a lot of their, their medical issues just fall away after they start to really control their light environment. This is why people who stay up all night may feel terrible for days, like they get the flu, but if they, you know, they can eat poorly and not feel that bad. That's how important sleep really is. And, you know, we know from the from studies on uh, lab animals that if you keep them awake for long periods of time, like days, their immune system is shut down and they actually die from spontaneous overwhelming infections. That's how important and vital sleep is, especially in comparison to food. People feel somatically ill if they don't get, you know, high quality sleep. And, you know, your body does the repair of all the damage that's been going on throughout the day while you sleep. So if you exercise, if you, you know, eat healthy foods, you know, that puts a metabolic and physiologic stress on the body that has to get repaired while you sleep. If you don't sleep well, you don't get to do that repair and you're working on old parts. You know, you don't get to do autophagy or apoptosis well. Another big thing is using blackout curtains in their bedroom to make sure that they're not getting any kind of ambient light from street lamps or headlights or, or floodlights, for example. Once they've fixed their environment, their light environment after dark, they generally tend to sleep better and it's up to them to determine what they're willing to give up and what they're willing to change in their lifestyle in order to do that.